Good afternoon. Parents, family members, school district representatives, students, and of course, our most honored attendees are 2020 graduates. Welcome to Southerton Advantage Academy's 18th annual award, awards uh, ceremony and graduation, and its first virtual graduation ceremony. I am Brian Dagger, Lakeside's Senior Vice President. Our ceremony today is an opportunity to honor our graduating seniors. It is also a time to recognize a number of Southerton Vantage Academy students who will be receiving some special awards. I trust that wherever you are and whoever you're gathered with to view this ceremony, seated at least six feet away from you, you will feel that you are indeed a vital part of this celebration. When the 2019-2020 school year began back on August 31st, our vocabulary did not include words and phrases such as coronavirus, COVID-19, social distancing, self-quarantining, and flattening the curve. Mask wearing was reserved for, for superheroes and being in a red zone implied that you were playing football and were inside the opponent's 20 yard line threatening to score. Just when we thought we were prepared for any challenge, a pandemic, was added to the mix. High school graduation. The class of 2020 has reached this momentous milestone in spite of one of the most significant challenges in recent history. I am sure none of you envisioned a ceremony such as this. However, graduates, a virtual ceremony in no way lessens your accomplishments. One day you will be able to tell the world you successfully completed high school during a worldwide pandemic. And now you are more than ready for what is next in your life, whether that be college, vocational endeavors, or military service. At the outset of our program, I want to express a word of gratitude and appreciation to all of those who have helped make this day a reality. Joining us for this virtual graduation ceremony are many parents and grandparents who have faithfully loved and supported their children and grandchildren, thereby enabling them to reach this milestone in their lives. Graduates, remember to give your parents an extra hug after you proudly show them your diploma. Also joining us are many school district and county representatives who have worked tirelessly on behalf of our graduates. Your willingness and ability to support their enrollment at Southerton Vantage Academy, as well as the encouragement you gave them along the way, do not go unnoticed. Thank you for all that each of you has done. Lastly, the commitment of each member of the Southerton Vantage Academy staff must also be acknowledged. Thank you for the genuine care and dedication you have actively displayed for each of your students, which has provided them the opportunity to succeed and celebrate this significant accomplishment today. And now a few words about and to our graduates. Challenges are certainly not new to any of our graduates. Football legend Vince Lombardi said, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Each of our graduates can share with you the times they have been knocked down, sometimes by their own doing and sometimes by others. But more importantly, they can also share with you how they got up each time. Author and speaker Charles Swindoll said, life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. Our 2020 graduates are excellent testament, testaments to this statement. At any point along their journey through life thus far, they could have said enough and thrown in the towel. But each one responded to the obstacles they encountered, even the abrupt and unexpected interruption to their senior year, with a resolve to overcome and finish well. Graduates, over the past three months, there have been many conversations about when life returns to normal. Given what we have all experienced, normal will be new in many, many ways. Whatever path you take as you leave high school, you will be helping create a new normal. Some of you will enter a field of healthcare and be responsible for advancing how we care for those who need healing. Some will enter business and be responsible for building our economy, while some will become technicians and craftsmen and be responsible for developing our infrastructure. And others will become educators and help prepare future generations to keep improving our world. Each of you will help shape the new normal we will all experience when 2020 is behind us. Parents, school district representatives, and Southerton Vantage Academy staff, the graduating class of 2020 is uniquely prepared to assume their place in life after high school. Graduates, 
On behalf of Lakeside, I wish you all the best and much success wherever you choose to go. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your high school experience. Congratulations. Lakeside is privileged to work very closely with the Souderton Area School District and its Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Frank Gallagher. Dr. Gallagher's commitment to supporting all students and seeing them succeed is unwavering. We are deeply appreciative of Dr. Gallagher's partnership and leadership, which has resulted in hundreds of Vantage Academy students experiencing much success. Here is Dr. Gallagher with a message to this year's grads. Hey, Vantage Class of 2020, your day has come, you're graduating. Congratulations. You've been through so much in your young lives and to end your school year with the COVID-19 pandemic just shows how persistent and how much you've persevered through your life. And you're gonna take these lifelong lessons and go out in the world and do great things. I just know it. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Good afternoon. My name is Jesse Walsh and I'm the Director of Educational Services at the Southern Advantage Academy. It is my great honor to greet you all this afternoon on behalf of the staff and the students at Vantage. We're very excited to highlight some of our students who distinguished themselves over the past year. And as you know, this has been quite a year of extraordinary challenges, many that none of us would have ever anticipated. And that's what makes the accomplishments of these students even more notable. The Southern Advantage Award for Outstanding Attendance, the Scholars Award for Academic Achievement, and the Perseverance, Character, and Hope Award all recognize students who've distinguished themselves through hard work, reliability, and extraordinary character. All three of these awards are nominated and voted on by our staff in a secret ballot. The Award for Outstanding Attendance is awarded to the student who's been present in school more than any other student this year. As you know, being present in mind is impossible if you're not present in body. This student continued to persevere in their attendance even when school was no longer open, and for that, they should be commended. This year's winner of the Award for Outstanding Attendance goes to none other than Aiden Group. This year, we have two students who will be recognized with the Saturn Advantage Scholars Award for Academic Achievement. This award is given to the student or students who are considered the highest achieving and hardest working students in the school. This year, the staff had such a hard time deciding who should win the award, we decided to give one award to a middle school student and another to a high school student. Both of these students showed an intellectual curiosity and a determination to push themselves to be the very best student and person they could be. This year's Scholar, Scholars Award winners are Morgan Bristow and Jalen Detweiler. Our next award is based on our school values of perseverance, character, and hope. The Perseverance, Character, and Hope Award is given to a student who embodies these qualities by continuing to make positive changes, not only in their life, but in the lives of those around them. Considering the special challenges this year presented, this year's Perseverance, Character, and Hope winner embodied character by continuing to advocate and show empathy for her classmates, kept a positive attitude in very difficult times, and actively worked to create a positive school culture and atmosphere through their actions. This student personally wrote birthday cards for each student at Vantage from grades five through 12. She also co-led the Sunshine Club, which sponsored and created a bulletin board with positive statements written on sticky notes that could be taken by students and passed along to their peers. Teachers said they loved having this student in class because they always knew they could count on a smile and hard work. There's so many other great and small things we could say about this student, but with no further ado, this year's winner of the Perseverance, Character, and Hope Award is Rebecca Schweizerhoff. It is now time to present the Student of the Year, Most Improved Student of the Year, and Transition Student of the Year Awards. These awards are taken very seriously because so many of our students have experienced real growth and positive change toward their goals over the course of the past school year. 
The students who are selected for these awards represent the very best of Vantage Academy. At this time, we'll have our counselors present these awards. First, we will watch Kathy DeSantis Moyer present the Transition Student of the Year and the High School Most Improved Student of the Year awards. She'll be followed by Desmond Decker, who will recognize the Middle School Most Improved Student of the Year. And finally, Katie Beck will present the Student of the Year awards for both the middle school and the high school. My name is Kathy DeSanctis Moyer. I'm one of the counselors at Souderton Vantage. It's an honor for me in this moment to be able to present two awards today. The first award recipient I'll be speaking about is for Transition Student of the Year. This is a student who has been with us and has successfully made his way back to his home school of Souderton High School and is really thriving and showing us all how it should be done. <laughs> this young man started with us at Vantage in elementary school, and many of us know him. He left us for a short while and then came back again in middle school. He uh, worked really hard last year in the eighth grade, and this was a big pivotal year for him where Tim, John Curtis, and myself hammered in on him about, you know, dude, you've got to do your work. You can't keep making excuses, you know, like the normal student stuff, right? But he took it to heart and he made a change and made a shift in his life. And this past year in ninth grade, our recipient award winner, Skylar Schwager, came to school and said, I've made a decision. I am going to do well and go back to the high school. And a big thing that happened for him was his support network increase to include his, his church family and his faith in God became very important to him. This year he joined the track team at the high school and put himself out there at assemblies, worked on making friendships, and just continues to really thrive there. So we're so proud of you, Skylar. Congratulations for being student of the year, transition student of the year. We're really proud of you. The second award I'm gonna give right now is to the most improved high school student of the year. This is going out to a student who has been with us for three years. She has kept to herself and when she first arrived, she was really quiet. Like you might not have heard a peep out of her in an entire block class. That's different now. This young lady has felt safe at Vantage has spread her wings, so to speak, and speaks up for herself when she needs to, asks questions. She works really hard on her academics that do not come easy to her. This year, she even co-led the Sunshine Club with another student, um, Morgan Bristow. This young lady who is the award winner of most student of most improved student of the year is Rebecca Schweisserhoff. Rebecca, we are so proud of you as a staff and we all collectively voted for you just because we've seen the growth and the change and we see how you put yourself out there and your true self when you share things about yourself like your favorite group, which is BTS <laughs> and just your fun, quirky sense of humor it really has been a delight to watch you and see you just really grow up and um, you're a lovely young lady. We are so proud and excited for you as your future continues to unfold. And congratulations, Rebecca, for being most improved student of the year.
Hello, my name is Desmond Decker and I am a school counselor for the middle and high school at Satterton Vantage Academy and I will be presenting the Most Improved Student Award for the 2019-2020 school year. The Most Improved Student Award is given to the individual who has shown some of the most impressive growth and maturity from the beginning of the school year until now. The Most Improved Student is also an individual whose progress is noticed by many different parties, their teachers, their counselors, their family, and their peers. But I think that most importantly, this student can see the change in themselves. Our most improved student for the year saw this change in himself. And I can personally say that over the last few years, he has shown great strides in bettering himself and understanding what he needs to do to be successful. The first few months I interacted with this student, honestly, were not very positive, but understandably, because he was in a new school, he had new teachers, he had new peers, and not only this, he was managing some events outside of school that made this new environment even more uncomfortable. That was in his seventh grade year. If you fast forward to the beginning of this school year, the same student is in eighth grade and the outside factors are still present. But because of his growth and maturity, he's been able to manage them while still enjoying himself at school in a positive and appropriate way. This student also exemplified what a positive resolve room process is throughout the time of his eighth grade year. He will manage his emotions, he'll talk calmly and appropriately to share his concerns, and he understands if there needs to be compromise that might not be ideal for him. He has a level of clarity about life that many middle school boys do not. Since I have known this student, he has had goals about his future, but it wasn't until this year that I saw him truly apply himself with those goals in mind. This would naturally make him more and more of a successful student as the year went on. This student saw the change in himself. He saw that the changes and improvements that he was making were directly making him more successful. Because of this, I'm confident that he will grow to be a very successful and well-respected individual in the community. I'm very proud of how he's matured and look forward to seeing how successful he will be as the years go on. This year's most improved student of the year goes to Aiden Snyder. Congrats, buddy. Hello, my name is Katie Beck. I am one of the counselors at Souderton Vantage. I get the honor today to announce the awards for both middle school and high school student of the year. These awards go to students that have shown consistent responsibility and leadership throughout the school year. As I started to jot down some notes about each of these students, the similarities amazed me. I've often told both of these students how much they remind me of each other. They are both incredibly hardworking and put their all into their schoolwork. They are both kind and considerate of others. They are both goal-oriented and go after their goals with full force, not allowing anything to get in their way. And they are both role models, both inside and outside of the classroom. I am very proud to announce Liera Patino for the Middle School Student of the Year. Liera started at Vantage when she was in seventh grade after having a difficult sixth grade year at the middle school. From day one, Liera made it known that her academics were important to her and that she was here to learn and to be challenged. But Liera didn't just learn in the classroom. She continued to work on herself and work through her anxiety. Liera immediately became a leader in the classroom and was never one to follow the crowd. She was always someone that the other students looked up to. Liera earned growth level two, which is the level of responsibility. She also transitioned half days to Indian Valley Middle School for her eighth grade year and was incredibly successful, earning honor roll and participating in a school-wide assembly on bullying. Liera will attend Souderton Area High School in the fall, where she plans to begin working towards her goal of being a surgeon. I'm so proud of you, Liera. You have had an incredible year and you are ready to kick butt at the high school. And now on to high school student of the year. It couldn't give me more pleasure to announce Morgan Leap as the high school student of the year. 
I've had the pleasure of knowing Morgan for the past five years. I've watched her grow from an anxious, insecure eighth grader to a brilliant young woman who is ready to embrace her future and take on the next challenge. She has tackled one goal after another and gained a remarkable amount of confidence in herself and what she has to offer. Morgan has earned distinguished honor roll every year since she started at Vantage, and she challenged herself by completing a college level course at Montgomery County Community College while taking on a full high school course load. Morgan was a great mentor and tutor to many of our students, and she helped staff any way that she could, including creating a library for our intermediate students last year during her summer break. <laughs> Morgan earned Growth Level 3, which is the level of leadership advantage. She soared through the college admissions process, which is very intimidating for many young adults, and is now ready to embark in the next step of her journey, attending Arcadia University in the fall. I am so proud of you, Morgan, and I cannot wait to see how your future unfolds. Please don't be a stranger and remember that Vantage will always be a part of your family. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Lorraine Sulik, and I'm the program director of Satterton Vantage Academy. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our students' achievements. I thank all of you who have cared for and supported our school throughout the years. Satterton Vantage Academy is a part of a positive community that values the care and education of children as one of their highest priorities. Now more than ever, we recognize the importance of building caring and genuine relationships in our schools and in our community. Positive relationships have the power to give hope and healing to the hurting. To our Vantage students, and I wish I could see you, I know you're there. The past three months have been difficult and a lot of things do not make sense right now. But you never gave up. You continue to learn online. You continue to care for each other and support each other. Even though you could not be in school with your friends, you are still reaching out to encourage each other with love and kindness. Remember, love is the most powerful force on earth. Love always wins and love never fails. I miss you and your teachers miss you. Even though we cannot see you, you are in our hearts. We are proud of you and your accomplishments. Now I have the privilege of introducing Morgan Leap. Morgan is a graduating senior from Parky Oman Valley School District. Morgan is an excellent student who will attend Arcadia University this fall. Morgan is a leader among her peers and she consistently spreads kindness, hope, and encouragement at Vantage and in her community. Hi, my name is Morgan and I'm a part of the class of 2020. Vantage has been the biggest part of my life. I basically grew up in those classrooms. I remember when I first came to Vantage in 2015 when I was in eighth grade and I was recently discharged from a very long placement. I was extremely shy, depressed, anxious, and just overall helpless. I didn't want anyone to see me, hear me, or just even notice me. I just wanted to dissolve into the background. That was when my counselor, Katie Beck, quickly noticed me and tried to piece me back together. She never let me give up on myself, and I cannot thank her enough. I'm forever grateful to the entire Vantage staff. They never gave up on me. They made it possible for me to love and accept things I can't change about myself. They made it possible for me to succeed. These are the people that have seen me at my absolute worst. I was going through a lot of changes, and I didn't know what to do or how to feel. But I found relief in those around me because they never backed down from a single fight. I wasn't truant anymore. I actually loved coming to school and seeing my second family. Most times it felt like they're my only family. I would park in my spot at 7 a.m. every single morning, walk in, talk to Anne, and then I would just go around the school and see if anyone needed help, if they wanted me to do anything. I would do anything to make the school a better place. What I want everyone to know is that Vantage has literally saved my life. They have pulled me from rock bottom time and time again, and I can never 
thank them enough. Vantage has shaped my life into what I never believed it could be. I graduated high school with a high GPA. I'm going to Arcadia University in the fall on a really good scholarship. And they gave me the tools to face any problems that I may have as I continue to grow up. This is all thanks to them and their hard work and their dedication. I hate this is how my last year at Vantage had to end. I hate this is how everyone's last year had to end, but we should just make the best out of it. So I want to say thank you, Katie, for sticking by my side for five very long years. And I want to say thank you, Tim, for being the MVP of the last two years of my time at Vantage. You really understood me and you helped out a lot. So thank you. And I want to say thank you, Anne, for being my very first best friend and a lifelong friend. You mean a lot to me. Thank you. Thanks, Lorraine and Jesse, for everything that you do for the school. Without you guys, Vantage would be in some very big trouble. Your guidance goes a long way. And I wish I had the time to say thank you to every single one of the teachers and counselors and every staff member, but you guys aren't appreciated as much as you should be. And you are changing every single one of these kids' lives, whether they like it or not. You definitely changed mine. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Last week, Jesse and I, along with Vantage staff, we had the opportunity to visit each of our seniors at their homes. It was a happy reunion as we expressed our congratulations. The smiles and joy on the face of our seniors and families is a memory that I'll always remember. Earning a high school diploma is one of life's most important achievements. Please join us now in congratulating our graduating seniors. Griffin McComb is from Upper Perkiomen School District and has completed all state requirements to earn his high school diploma while at Vantage this year. Griffin is a pleasant young man and made many, many friends while at Vantage. Griffin is presently interviewing and preparing for full-time employment. Congratulations, Griffin. Nicole Toy. Nicole Toy is earning a high school diploma from Spring Ford Area School District. Nicole is a talented artist who will attend Arcadia University this fall. The picture displayed is an example of Nicole's creative talent. Congratulations, Nicole. Brandon Kelly. Brandon Kelly is earning a high school diploma from Boyertown School District. Brandon has a great sense of humor and often kept his friends and teachers laughing because of his creative practical jokes. Brandon is an electrical apprentice and it is his goal to be a licensed electrician. Congratulations, Brandon. And Morgan Leaf. Morgan Leaf is earning a high school diploma from Perkiomen Valley School District. Morgan is an excellent academic student who strives for excellence in all she does. Morgan will attend Arcadia University this fall. Congratulations, Morgan. Well, I just want to thank you again for joining us today to celebrate the success of our students. We sincerely hope that we will be able to see all of you in person soon. Congratulations again to all of our students and our 2020 graduates. I hope you all have a safe and healthy summer and we'll see you all in the fall.